Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Crimin Jolly, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today it's time to get festive. I'm doing the Naughty or Nice booktube tag. So you may remember this tag uh, from this time last year. And a tag, if you don't know, um, is a video uh, that we do on BookTube where we ask a series of questions and then tag other people to answer those questions as well. So this tag was originally created a year ago, um, jointly by me and by MJ from the channel Reading This Life, although I would say MJ did most of the work. Um, and the idea of this tag is that there are two versions of it. There's a naughty version and a nice, nice version. Each has got seven questions, um, but you can pick the one that you do. Um, so what MJ and I are doing, last year I did the nice version and MJ did the naughty version. This year we're flipping that. So if you did this tag last year, you should flip it as well. So if you did the naughty version last year, do the nice version this year and vice versa. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and get on with the questions. Um, so as I said, I am doing the naughty version. So the first question is, uh, name your favourite naughty fictional character. And with all of the questions about books, I'm going to limit them to books I've read this year. So my favourite naughty fictional character from a book I read this year uh, was the character Dorian from the book Alien the Cold Forge by Alex White. Dorian is such a complete bastard. <laughs> he was fantastic to read. Um, so Dorian is an auditor who gets who, who works for the evil corporation from the Alien films and gets sent to this space station where they're doing experiments on xenomorphs and his job is like to check they're doing the right things and being as efficient as possible and to try and downsize them basically. But he's just such an appalling human. He does everything he can be just to be awful to people throughout the whole book to the extent that a large part of the like the tension and the pleasure in reading the book is is waiting for him to get his comeuppance. So you are reading the book more wanting Dorian to get punished than you are wanting the, the characters you like in the book to get free. Um, so it was just a fantastic read because of that. And Dorian is my fav definitely my favourite naughty fictional character of the year. Um, Second question, uh, what's your favourite naughty book? So my favourite naughty book I've read this year uh, was Pounded by Pluto by Leonard Delaney. Um, so I read this during Garb August um, and it was part of a uh, like a double book with uh, another book by Leonard Delaney called Taken by the Tetris Blocks. So Leonard Delaney writes like humorous erotica basically. Um, and Pounded by Pluto is about this scientist based on Neil deGrasse Tyson um, who borrows a spaceship from his buddy Richard Branson and flies to Pluto to like do experiments on Pluto and try and understand Pluto better. What he discovers when he gets to Pluto is that uh, Pluto is actually a sentient being rather than just a planet. And what's more, it's a horny sentient being. So the book is about um, it's about this Neil deGrasse Tyson character having sex with Pluto in a number of different ways. And it was just absolutely ridiculous, but very, very, very funny as well. Um, I enjoyed every page of it. It really was wonderful. Um, Okay, next question then. Uh, what naughty character deserves to be on the nice list? So not a fictional character, but definitely a character. So someone from a book I read this year who came across as... So a, a person you think of as maybe being a bit naughty, but actually who came across as being absolutely lovely in this book. Uh, and that is Elvira. So the book was Yours Cruelly, Elvira by Cassandra Peterson. Cassandra Peterson is the, the, the actress who plays Elvira and who created the Elvira character. And Elvira, yeah, you think of as this kind of sexy, vampish, uh, you know, character full of innuendo and things like that. Um, so not necessarily, you know, the, the deepest person. Um, but Cassandra Peterson comes across in this book as such a wonderful person, a genuinely kind person who's gone through some terrible stuff in her life, including at the hands of very famous male celebrities, um, but who has come out of it, you know, kind of hopeful and kind and always, you know, wanting to help other people. It really was a lovely, lovely book. Very funny at times, shocking at times, but more than anything, kind of uplifting and moving and hopeful, a really hopeful book. So I, th I thought Elvira came across beautifully in that book and definitely a naughty character who deserves to be on the nice list.
Um, next question then, uh, show the naughtiest cover from a book you read this year. Um, so I've just read this um, in the last couple of weeks, actually, or the last week even. Uh, the book is The Witches Book 2, The Trial by James Dark. It has a very naughty, very 80s cover. So there is the cover. So I was getting a bit of glare there. So that all the books in the Witches series have this these similarly themed, um, very naughty, uh, kind of very 80s, uh, like glamour models in slightly uh, slightly dubious poses type covers. So this is, this is not actually the worst of them, I don't think. Um, but it's but it's definitely got a very uh, a very 80s vibe to it, which I do quite appreciate. Um, so yeah, that's my naughtiest book cover of the year. Um, Okay, next question then. Uh, have you ever been on Santa's naughty list? So I was racking my brains on this and I'm not sure I really have. Certainly not when I was a little kid, I don't think I was. My mum deserved to be on Santa's naughty list because she used to delight in in winding me up and if, if there was something I was particularly expecting for Christmas or, you know, hoping for for Christmas, she would delight in, in just, you know, like, sending me off in the wrong direction and, and thinking I hadn't got that thing. Um, and I remember the feeling of woe one year when I'd gone under the Christmas tree and shaken this big box that was there that I was sure was a Lego set. And she told me it was a jigsaw puzzle. Um, it was a Lego set, and a Lego set I still remember very fondly. So um, so she wasn't completely naughty, but she did use to wind me up. So yeah, I can't remember as a little kid ever being on the naughty list. I think as a teenager, going out and, you know, perhaps drinking more than I should have um, in the run-up to Christmas. Maybe I was on the naughty list then, but I don't particularly remember that. Um, okay, next question then is name a, uh, a holiday guilty pleasure. Um, so for me, it's got to be, particularly as I don't drink anymore, mince pies. I do love mince pies. Mince pies are just, just amazing. It's a good job that they're a seasonal thing because otherwise I think I could probably quite happily eat them all yeah. But they are just ridiculously unhealthy. If you look at the if you look at the nutritional information on a pack of mince pies, it will give you a heart attack just looking at it. Um, they are full of fat, full of saturated fat, full of sugar, um, but really, really nice. And, and and this year is a year when I've been trying to look after myself a bit more um physically, you know, doing a bit more exercise, paying a bit more attention to what I eat. Um, I will try and continue exercising during Christmas. I've, I'm having a bit of a break for it at the moment because of this cold I've got. Um, but I will try and continue exercising over Christmas. But I will let the the eating slip a little bit so that I can squeeze a few mince pies in. Um, final question then. Um, name a naughty book tumour. So I'm not going to name a naughty book tumour. Um, it felt wrong to me to get to the end of the year and not talk about the most awful thing that has happened on booktube this year which is the loss of packs so my my naughty booktuber is is the booktube gods for for taking packs away from us far too young far too soon uh it, it was just such a terrible thing um and i think many of us are still struggling with the fact that she's not around anymore um so yes my my naughty booktuber is is booktube for for taking packs from us so I hope you found that interesting and sorry it took a sad turn at the end, yeah, but I could not talk about PAX in, in a video that was kind of about the whole year. Um, so yes, that is the Naughty or Nice booktube tag. Um, as I said at the start, if you've done this video before, you are tagged to do the opposite of the one you did last year. If you've never done it before, you're tagged as well uh, and you can choose whether you do the Naughty or Nice version. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.